Aries, welcome to your oracle card reading. I'll be using all oracle cards in this video. I've already posted the normal videos for March and love reading, so go ahead and check them out on the channel. If you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get all the messages I post each month. To my lovely loyal subscribers, welcome back. So these are the angel messages cards. I'll leave all the information for the decks of cards I use in the description box, um, along with how to contact me for personal readings. Um, so you can just, if you have a question in mind, like, have they forgot me? No. Um, whatever it may be for you, okay? What will it take to heal this? Forgiveness, okay? So use these cards here um, to ask your own personal questions, I guess. Ask your angels there. It can be what you're doing, Aries. So let's see what we have for this oracle deck. Okay, the Emperor. Somebody's been very stubborn. Um, I'll read it as a general reading. Um, somebody refuses to let you go here with this stubbornness with the Emperor. Um, those arms folded, It's they could even be refusing to speak to you right now or vice versa. We know how it goes in general readings by now, guys. It's uh, either part of the soulmate party. You take what resonates with your side okay so here somebody's refusing to let go it's just too stubborn or refusing to speak to you even here transformation that's the death card but this will change both major arcana here so a lot going on um behind the scenes the universe the divine is working for you here to work on changing this person's stubbornness of course it can be you um that's going through this transformation and may change your mind and it'll lead to forgiveness. Um, forgiveness is learning, right? And um, this is change, transformation. Maybe we can forgive people, but we don't need to accept them back into our life, right? Um, of course, we have free will, so the choice is yours. Um, let's see here. Disruption. This is the tower as well. Okay, you got a lot of major arcana, a lot of changes uh, coming on. Um, I feel like if this is you, Aries, if this this is the Watcher, you may have given up on somebody, lost hope that they would change. So it'd be, be quite shocking. You have forgiven them, but you might not want them back, like I said, with the Death card and the Tower. It's like you're adamant now. I don't want them back. I'm growing stronger. I'm taking back my power here. Passion ignites. There's communication coming in, though. So they could be trying to reach out to you, and you could be trying to resist them here uh three of cups so that's the change that's a transformation um we can choose to be happy to be joyous to reunite and that's why i said there's an, a love offer coming in here aries it's up to you um because it's saying this is an important decision to be made okay there is change coming there is transformation coming a huge shift but ultimately the choice is yours some of you will be saying yes, okay? There's no wrong or right answer. Um, each will take us down a path of learning and forgiveness. We have to learn to forgive ourselves even on this journey. The waiting game. You could have waited too long for them and this is why some of you are adamant that, look, I'm not going to go back that way. I forgive them, I've healed, but um, I've waited too long. Um, I wanted some them to maybe come back sooner. They didn't. Now I've understood the lesson. I'm moving on to the next lesson. So that would be waiting for a new soulmate to come into your life here. If that's the case, you could be meeting a Scorpio here uh, with the Death card and the Tower or another Aries. Six of Cups, another indication of... Um, a Scorpio. But this is Memories of Love in this Oracle deck. The Six of Cups is somebody returning from your past. Now, we've already discussed that somebody will be coming back and the decision will be yours to say yes or no here. Um, you learn a lot through this loss. That's the Six of Cups. Um, I feel like your soulmate has learned a lot as well. When we have these lessons, they are for not just us to learn, but for our soulmate to learn as well. So do take that on board, um, that there has... They have also learned their lesson. They learned through losing you. 
that's the six of cups learning through the loss of love and then wanting them back um it may have taken quite some time for them to reach out but here they come this is somebody from your past returning um the truth is uh, it's what i said it's um learning the lesson understanding that i don't want to live without this person um i may have you know made mistakes i've learned my lesson it's ended it maybe even took ending the relationship for them to realize the truth that they want to be back with you here it may have took ending the relationship in this amount of time for you to realize they was never right for you okay it can take what resonates leave what doesn't of course um there's some truth that has come out in this situation um, some truth that will be spoken soon with the Ace of Wands over here and this truth card. Let's see. Nine of Pentacles, the material harvest. Um, so, yeah, it took somebody being alone to realize that, you know, either I'm strong enough to um, not take somebody back who isn't on the right vibration for me, or it took somebody being single to realize this loss these memories of love flooding their mind and not letting them move away from you it's somebody holding on to you very tight the situation has become more balanced with this emperor here but i feel definitely for some it definitely feels like you know there's no way back to this situation i can forgive them i can forgive myself but i don't see myself going back i might re remain single here until somebody else comes along or they've done their work to raise their vibrations for others of you this is somebody who can't let go because remember this can go either way it's a general reading so some of you aries can't let go of somebody and some of you this is somebody who can't let go of you now and is coming back into your life here Somebody sees you as their nine cups here. That's what we see. Three cups here, six cups here. And it took realizing, losing the one to understand what's going on within self, that they needed to grow, they needed to learn. Um, and that's what's happened with the nine of pentacles. Growth, learning, learning about not only another person, but about yourself, right? Being accountable to be able to then put that good energy back out into the world to learn to love yourself and then you can love somebody else this is what they had to learn a, a lot of people you know it's not only you that they can deceive when somebody doesn't love themselves they'll cheat right and they will lie and deceive and you know ignore everything they're doing about themselves right they'll ignore their own actions here this is somebody becoming aware of their own actions. It's growth with the nine of pentacles, okay? Choose wisely. If they haven't done this growth, then they could end up hurting you again. If, you know, they come, if you, they come back into your life, if you've grown enough, you would understand not to let somebody back into your life who hasn't done the spiritual work. If... They come back into your life and they have done the spiritual work. It can work out between you guys. But it's all about using your own intuition. Uh, that's that seven of cups. That's um, choosing wisely there. Let your intuition guide you and you'll be okay. Sun glaring through the window there. So it's telling you what to choose. You deserve love here. You are lovable. Okay. So understanding that you deserve the best and that um, if this person isn't ready, that you're not meant to be with them. Um, true love, some of you, yeah. There's definitely this, I can't let go of somebody here. This is a romance of a lifetime. So I do understand that, you know, even if you do absolutely love them, you've got to learn to love people from afar at times because... If they're not ready, they'll just end up draining you. Playfulness, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Let's see here. Past life relationship. The connection is so strong because you have known each other before in this past life. Um, so they was definitely here to teach you a very valuable lesson. The ending of this 
relationship with the death card and the tower there um, was a spiritual catalyst for you really shook your world that's that disruption the, this is the tower card it's like almost you know taking your soul and putting it in different pieces in different places um, it's like part of you is somewhere else when they left they took that your heart with them or something here so this shift is coming um, and it sorry the shift came to you know really shake up your life it was a spiritual catalyst here to wake you up now what happens when we wake up we do the work if we then invite an ex back who hasn't done the work we can still be drained okay um this is why i advise against accepting people back who aren't ready those who are ready on the other hand because some of them are with the nine of pentacles um ex you can accept them back uh, but here you're being asked to choose wisely uh, know your truth, okay? Yes, this can be a true love, but know your truth here so that you don't have to go through that cycle of pain again. Because if you do have to go through this cycle of pain again, it will hurt all the more. Because the divine really wants you to get the message here. And sometimes we only learn through, um, you know, that extreme pain. We don't grow in comfort, we grow in discomfort. So this is why it had to hurt, this is why it had to end. But you can now um, get on the right path and know you deserve love and know that what's meant for you won't pass you by. So saying no to somebody who isn't ready doesn't mean they will pass you by. You don't have to burn bridges, you can remain very playful, um, you know, to recapture romance here and uh, you know, be like a friendship here, keep talking to each other, and then you know where they're at on their spiritual growth, right? Um, for some of you, it's a waiting game. You are waiting for somebody to come forward to reunite here, somebody from your past with that Six of Cups. Um, but it's saying, this, the message is still the same. You've got to go through, you know, each step of this healing, to receive the reward. There is another tower here. I feel like you'll be quite surprised that they will come. The truth is they are your true love. And it happened for a reason. You just got to choose wisely or it'll happen all over again. And you'll learn through this loss all over again. Okay, guys. Good luck.